very much my pleasure to introduce my colleague and friend, Dr. Regina Perugi, who is the president of Kingsborough Community College and the Commissioner on the American Council of Education's Commission on Lifelong Learning. Dr. Perugi began her service to the City University, which you've already heard much about the City University uh, this morning. Uh, Dr. Perugi began her service at the City University in 1974 at York College in Queens, where she worked with adult learners. In 1984, she left York College to join the Office of Academic Affairs in CUNY Central <coughs> to share her vast knowledge about adult learners and give her service to the whole university. In 1990, by some oversight in CUNY, she was stolen away from the City University to serve as the first lay president of Marymount Manhattan College. Marymount and the trustees of Marymount knew that in the time of their financial crisis, Dr. Perugi could not bring only a passionate commitment to serving a range of diverse learners, but could bring the financial and fundraising skills that could help the dreams of Marymount Manhattan become a reality. And she did, bringing to bear her great combination of a doctorate from TC and an MBA from NYU. Within a few years, she took a college that was literally on the brink of bankruptcy, dispelled all possibility that it might be merged or taken over by another institution, and created a vibrant, rejuvenated, thriving college, which today continues to attract and serve students, not only from across the city, but from across the nation. But Dr. Perugi is a true New Yorker. In fact, she was recently honored with the Civic Spirit Award by the Women's City Club of New York. After Marymount, she headed another New York institution, the Central Park Conservancy. But the City University was always her first love. And in 2004, Chancellor Matthew Goldstein had the wisdom to bring her back to the university as president of Kingsborough Community College, which now enrolls over 17,000 students. Community colleges are well known for the access they create for students, particularly those students who have to work, those students who have complex family responsibilities, those students who lack economic resources, or may not have the academic preparation to go to a four-year college straight from high school. <coughs> they are less well known for their success with students. Dr. Perugi knows that access is not enough, and she brought to Kingsborough a determined and intense commitment to equity and student success. She has three guiding principles in her work there. The first is to create a better transition between New York City public schools and the college. The second is to make sure that every student who enters Kingsborough, once they are there, become college ready. And the third is to create a rich academic experience and to put in place the academic and other supports that will ensure that they can reach a successful graduation. These things have been put into practice and a host of programs developed and nurtured under President Perucci's leadership. Kingsborough has the largest and most comprehensive College Now program, and this high school to college partnership now boasts <coughs> partnerships with 27 New York City high schools. Kingsborough, with the New York City Department of Education, sponsors the Kingsborough Early Secondary School. The school began on campus with sixth graders, and coming this fall, ninth graders will have the opportunity to take courses for college credit so that when they graduate, they will have not only a high school degree, but an associate's degree from Kingsborough. To get students from other high schools college ready in reading, writing, and mathematics, President Perugi initiated the President's Prep, a six-week intensive pre-college enrollment course, and she sought and secured outside funding for this. Kingsborough has atta attracted national attention for its program called Opening Doors, which is a program that organizes students into learning communities so that they can move more quickly through their coursework and actually attain a degree. The Ford Foundation has recognized Kingsborough and Dr. Perugi for the effectiveness of this program and has funded them to help assist other community colleges to try to replicate or adapt this model. It's no wonder then that Kingsborough boasts the highest graduation rate among the CUNY community colleges. It's no wonder then that the New York Times selected Kingsborough as one of only 11 colleges nationwide uh, to be profiled as community college achieve at four achievers. It is no wonder then that Kingsborough's Honor Society, Phi Beta Kappa, is among the largest of the community college societies uh, nationally. When asked where the college recruits these wonderfully successful students, 
Dr. Perugi replies, we don't recruit honor students, we make them. As community colleges grow in profile in the national radar screen, Dr. Perugi's work is a beacon to many. Good leadership works, and Kingsborough works because of superb leadership brought to it by Dr. Regina Perugi. 